Alrighty, so uh, I have a cold right now. Not COVID, a cold, so I'm kind of losing my voice a little bit, so I'm going to try not to talk as much this video, but if you know me, if you've watched any of my videos, you know that, well, I tend to talk a lot sometimes. But uh, let's just hop right on into this thing. So basically, the last time that you guys saw this thing, it looked completely different. I had white sand along the bottom, did not have this big old planet here, and the lighting probably looks a little bit different as well. Well, let me tell you what happened. So basically, I decided to add some eco-complete substrate in here because I thought it would look a lot better not only the whole tank but with the plants and once I got the beta in here well then I also decided to move the other Anubius plant from right here over to here and I added this big Amazon sword and I've been growing this thing up from the beta tank up here for probably it's been several months now and it has just gotten bigger and bigger when I first started it it was about that size and it, it it was taking up like this whole side of the tank so I took it out and it kind of freed up some space and then I moved the bonsai tree back in the middle and I also took the banana plant that was right here put it up there and we're gonna see if it's gonna drop some of the really cool roots down to the bottom like the Anubias have done because uh, I think that would look really really cool in here but you have the white opal beta that guy's doing great in here. The neon and the ember tetras are looking great, but that's not the topic of the video. It is this tank right here. So I added that plant in here, and it, without a doubt, 100% added way more greenery, just way more life overall to this tank, and it looks a lot better. So, moving on to the lighting, this is actually a different light from the last one that you guys saw in here. This tank never had its own light. Every time I would film this tank, I was literally taking the light off from one of my guppy tanks, and it's the same brand and all. It's the same kind of Aquion clip-on LED hangover light, except this is the, I'd say, less bright version. This one doesn't have quite as many LEDs in it. That other light was just putting way too much light in the tank. We would have been growing twice as much algae. As you can see, we've got a bunch of brown algae going on, which is a good thing, but... uh. It obviously just doesn't look all that good, but this light is plenty bright for this tank and plenty bright for the plants as well. So now that I've kind of caught you up, and by the way, the sand is still in here. You can probably see it right here. So the sand's still in here. Uh, I've just added the Eco Complete over top of it, and I didn't really do anything to the Siri stone. Those two formations are basically the exact same. But the beta finally came in for this tank this past week and I went ahead and put him on in the tank he's doing great he was eating that same night right now he's actually back in this little rock formation somewhere I can't find him but I know he's back here there he is right here I don't know if you guys can see him yep you sure can he's looking dead at you and he's coming out here he comes so um, now one eye and it's this eye right here is a little it's a little swollen and it looked way worse when I put him in the tank two days ago when he first came in. And it has slowly but surely gotten better and started to clear up. Uh, so I think that's not going to be a problem at all. But this guy looks really, really nice. So my voice is starting to bother me even more. So I'm just going to roll a little montage of this guy. And I'll see you guys back here in a few minutes. So for those of you who don't know, this is called a Nemo Plaquette Beta, and basically from the breeder that I ordered it from, uh, it was just assorted, so I didn't really know what I was getting. Uh, in a way I did, I knew it was going to be a Plaquette Beta, I just didn't know exactly what the markings were going to be, but I gotta say, I was pretty darn pleased. Besides the whole eye thing, but like I said, that's clearing up, so I'm not going to be a whole snowflake about that. 
But I do have some um, spirulinomyces shrimp right here. This guy's already been eating. He was eating the night. I put him in the tank. So I want to go ahead and feed him for you guys really quickly. Let's wait for this guy to find one of these pieces in here. Oh, oh, oh. There he goes. There he goes. But yeah, this guy definitely does eat really, really good. No doubt about that. He's definitely very healthy, like I said, besides the whole eye thing. Uh, definitely eats really, really good. And there's really a lot of things that you can feed betas. You know, flakes, pellets, uh, really any kind of frozen small food. I've already fed him some blood worms. I'm sure he'll eat some brine shrimp. And obviously this is mysis shrimp. Look at him. He ran back there to get that big piece. But, uh... Yeah, so far I'm really, really enjoying this guy as far as the whole filter situation. Um, as slow as this filter looks, that it looks like it's not putting out a whole lot of flow, it really is. I mean, there's a lot of flow coming down right here, and whenever this guy goes past this direction, he gets really, really swept down. And if you know anything about betas, you know that they don't like a whole lot of flow, so I may change out the filter, uh, but right now it is not that big of a deal. It's going to grab that piece right there. Got it, uh, and that is pretty much it for now. So I'll definitely give you guys an update on this guy in the next video, and uh, we'll definitely see how well that eye starts to clear up over the next few days. But like I said, it's already st started to clear up some from when I got him a couple of days ago. And in the last video, we got a red-tailed catfish, and he went into this tank right here. Well, guess what? He is no longer in this tank. He's actually right over here. We're going to talk about that in a second. But let me tell you why I moved them out. So out of the three fish that are in here, you would probably think out of all of them, if a fish was going to bother them, it would probably be that guy right there, the Jack Dempsey. If not him, maybe the Bisher. Oh no, it was this guy right here. Now flagtails and goldfish are another fish that like to do this. They like to go up to fish, and they literally like to eat the slime coat off of them. As you can see, he's got some big old lips, and... He's just a fish that tends to do that. Every once in a while, he'll try to do it to the bisher, but the bisher will kind of get away from him. But it just seemed like that red tail could not get away from him, and it was really seeming to bother him. Uh, so I, I took a chance, in all honesty, and I moved him over here. You know, honestly, this was kind of a risk where the bigger Sundanas catfish and maybe the cichlids could nip at him. But uh, he's done really, really good in here, and he eats really good as well. But he likes to stay right up here by the heater which is no big deal in all honesty because as soon as I shut these lights off he comes right down here and eats with the rest of the catfish I make sure to get enough sinking food down there to him and he gets his fair share of food so he's doing great and as a matter of fact I'm gonna shut this light off right now and I'm gonna throw the rest of this in here this is that mice's shrimp and these guys will obviously pig out on it and then as soon as that red tail smells it, he's going to come right down here and join in on it. And I'll probably drop some pellets in here for him. Yep, yep, here he comes. There he is right there. Coming down. I'm going to grab a few pellets. These are just some sinking high cari cichlid pellets. And obviously the peacocks and, you know, the Jack Dempsey's and Frontosas, they love to eat them as well. But that's why I have to put a bunch of them in here to make sure the Cynodonis and, of course, the red tail get enough. But... Once this guy comes down, believe me, he really does get his fair share of food. He just kind of has to find it first. Oh, 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 oh. And he found him some. There you go. So he definitely gets plenty of food in this tank, no doubt about that. Um, his dorsal fin is a little bit frail, but other than that, he looks all right and is eating really good, so I'm not worried about it. Nobody seems to have any interest in... Uh, interest in messing with him so he doesn't get picked on in here uh, I keep a really close eye on him in all honesty because obviously I was worried about putting him in this tank just with all the fish that are in here um, but he's done great and he eats great so nothing to really worry about and I also did what I said I was gonna do out of this tank which was move the two Kermenses out of here and over into this tank right here which was the tank the two Frontosas were in and uh, we're going to see if these guys will breed in this tank. They had already paired up in here, but and were acting like they were going to breed. And then I added that Dick Feldy and the Lelupe, and it kind of intimidated them. And with all the fish in here, I just figured it'd be a good idea, if we really wanted to breed them, to move them over here in this 10-gallon all by themselves. 
And uh, so now it's just kind of a waiting game, and we'll see whatever the heck happens. So uh, they look great, they eat great, and um, yeah. We'll see what they do. But my voice is really starting to bother me, so I'm just going to go and end the video right here. But if you guys did enjoy the video, please be sure to give it a like down below. Let me know your guys' thoughts on the new beta and in, in any other adjustments or things that you think I should add to the beta tank that would make it look better. Uh, definitely let me know down below in the comments. But until then, I will catch you guys in next Sunday's video. Actually, I may, I may post sometime throughout this week just because I did not post last Sunday. So... I may post before Sunday uh, another video. Did that make any sense? I don't know. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.